Dooley, we are shipping a local boy down to Texas. We apologize in advance. I thought the thing you wanted more in life was to be in our booth calling races. Calling races is like the key word, so having an opportunity to go through the months of April and November and pretty much do what I really enjoy. And, and it is such a, you know, I, it is a big part of my life and I enjoy being up in an announcer booth and you know, I'm just, you really I'm just grateful call. for the opportunity the to be The fact that Durkin's coming back and you say you just want to keep calling races. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy working with Tom, I enjoy being his assistant, but I think ultimately what I really enjoy the most is being up in an announcer booth and calling races. Now, this, the people who hired you in Texas, they knew you before? I had worked for um, the assistant vice president, Steve Sexton, at, Th at Thistledown, and now he's uh, at Lone Star Park, and also the fact that Corey Johnson was a part of the Bartolo Racing. And so with Corey, um, part of the Lone Star Project as well. So it'd be kind of like working for some people that I worked for in the past, but yet they've hired so many new people there, and it's just they're, they're doing a lot within the community. They set up a scholarship program for some local high schools, and uh, they're trying to give back to the community. And you really get a sense that people there in the area, Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie, really are welcoming in this racetrack, and well, I think it's going to be really exciting. It would be a first, because so far, nothing's really hit a home run in Texas. No, um, but the one advantage that Lone Star has, they've been doing simulcasting for over a year. They've uh, accrued a lot of audience. money. Exactly, and they've worked with the horsemen at Oaklawn Park, which ends in early April. Lone Star Park will run from April 17th through July 29th, and then on to Louisiana Downs. So it'll be a really solid circuit there in the southwest. What do you do July 30th? Um, I'll be working, and they have a brand new post-time pavilion where they've been doing simulcasting. Oh, so you'll I'll be, be working with, there. Uh, okay. And also an opportunity they're going to allow me to go out into the community. Um, I've done traveling road shows before at Thistledown while working for Steve. So it's kind of a chance to talk to high school students, college students, get people interested in the game. Well, they're lucky to get you. Now I want to ask you another question. I heard you today, today being <laughs> saying, what did you say before the ninth race? Go ahead. Well, so the horses have reached the starting gate. Fans at the rail are up on their feet. It oh. is now post time. Now, when you do that in Texas, is it possibly that some guy with a 10-gallon hat and a six-shooter will knock on the door and will never see you again? I, I, I don't think, actually, I think people would actually appreciate it. They're, run, they're running a nighttime post time there. I think they're really going for a younger crowd. On the weekends, they'll run at 135. But it's great to actually see people down by the rail waiting for the start of a one-mile race. So you're going to be doing a lot of that stuff you do here. I notice you like to editorialize and have some fun with your calls. Yeah, and I actually talked to the president there, Tim Kaminsky and Corey Johnson as well, and they said, have fun with it. Okay. They go out there, but they expect good calls. You know, good calls and accurate calls, but at the same time, if you see a, you know, a funny name, just have some fun with it. Staten Island boy heading to Texas. Yeehaw! We've enjoyed it. We've actually had you two winters. Yeah, two winters. Last winter was back to Thistledown and then coming uh, okay. back here. Well, if you're getting us on Edition Texas, get ready for him. Dooley will be doing Dallas, and if we have one more week of them, then you've got them. Thanks, John. Good luck. Right back with Races of the Week.